Good day everyone. So our topic for today is from the chapter 16, the museums and the historical shrines. And now I will be discussing with all about the museums. And we have here a quote from Wendy Beckett says that a country that has few museums is both materially poor and spiritually poor museums like theaters and libraries are means to freedom. So my insight about this is when the Beckett statement suggests that the presence of museums reflects a country's wealth not only in material resources but also in cultural and spiritual richness. Museums along with theaters and libraries are seen as avenues that contribute to intellectual freedom and cultural expression enhancing the overall well-being of a society and our outline for this topic is the national museums of the philippines museums versus the art gallery and the last is the list of other museums of the philippines and before we discuss the course outline alamin muna natin what is museums and Museums are institutions that collect, preserve, interpret, and display objects and artifacts of cultural, scientific, historical, or artistic significance. They provide a space for the public to engage th with these items, fostering education and appreciation for various aspects of human history and creativity. And museums can focus on a wide range of subjects including art, natural history, science, technology, archaeology, and many more. And the National Museums of the Philippines, like the other muse museums in the world, institutions that takes care and conserves collections of artifacts and other objects of artistic, cultural, historical, or scientific importance, in Latin word, originally denotes place or temple dedicated to the muses and set for study and arts. And the National Museums of the Philippines is a Filipino or Pambansang Museum ng Pilipinas is an umbrella government organization that oversees a number of national museums in the Philippines including the ethnographic, anthropological, archaeological and visual arts collections uh, from 1973 until 20, 2021 the national museum served as the regulatory and enforcement agency of the government of the philippines in the restoring and safeguarding of significant cultural properties sites and preservations throughout the philippines the mandate has since been transferred to the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. And we have here naman the world's oldest museum na uh, binilt ng Babylonians princess noong 2,500 years ago and ito ay na-discovered noong 1925 by archaeologist Leonard Woolley. At Meron din tayong uh, oldest museums in the Philippines sa University of Santo Tomas Museum. Ito ay considered as the oldest existing museums in the Philippines and is formally established in 1869. And to comply with the 1865 Regulamento de Segunda Ezenyanza that required all first class college to have a Museo de Historia Natural. The U.S. The Museum's collection originally occupied two hallways in the Intramuros campus before being transferred to the Sampaloc campus in 1936. Most of the collection dates back to 1869. And the Museum's versus Art Gallery. Ano mo nang pinagkaiba ng museum at art gallery? Ang museum is a public and non-commercial institution creating an exhibition program for cultural and educational purposes. This is a distinctive function of museum 
on preservation of artifacts with cultural, historical, and aesthetic value by maintaining a collection of valued objects. While the art gallery is a private and commercial enterprise curating exhibition with its portfolio of artists while selling the exhibited artworks. And art museums also function as galleries that displays works from the museum's own collection or on loans from the collection of other museums. So, may tuturing nga bang uh, museum ang art gallery? Yes po. Dahil uh, pwede natin siyang tawaging art museum or art gallery. And the museum versus art gallery. Pag sa ownership, it is the museum, it is a public non-profit. Paano pag sinabi nating public non-profit? Ito ay isang organization also known as the non-business entity or non-profit institution. It is a legal entity organized and operated for collective public or social benefit in contrary with an entity with that operates as a business aiming to generate profit for its owner. And also non-profit entities may seek approval from governments to be task-exempt task and some way also qualify to receive tax-deductible contribution, but an entity may incorporate as non-profit entity without securing tax-exempt status. And the art gallery naman in ownership is a private owned business the uh, the public owned business refers to a business or company owned by a close circle of sh shareholders whose stock in not sellable or external investors and the term privately owned is also used to refer to a business that is not owned by are controlled by the government. Ayan. And the purpose naman ay ang museum ay para mag-collect, para mag-preserve, para mag-research at mag-protect yung mga artifacts and other objects na uh, at para mag-provide ng social services and education. At sa art gallery naman ay ang mga uh, ang mga bagay dito ay sinisell nila or binebenta nila para sila ay magka pera or pinapalawak nila ito. Ayan. Um, in terms sa collection naman, ang museum ay uh, permanent collection of artifacts and objects. So, kahit ilang daang taon na ang lumipas ay yung mga bagay na nandun ay preserved pa din. Uh, hindi siya maaalis kahit kailan at kahit uh, dumaan ang ilang toon ay nandun at nandun pa rin yun. Unlike the art gallery na non-permanent collection dahil nga binebenta nila ito. And sa so focus naman ng museum it is a most universal unless specified the name itself. So, pag sinabi natin universal it includes the or covering all the whole collectively or distributively without limit or exception. Unlike the art gallery na merong specific artist na ang focus is like a contemporary arts brand or representing a certain aesthetic point of view. And in terms naman po sa accreditation, it was uh, governed by trust, trustees and board of directors, directors and staff, and it was rules of accreditation by AAM in US or the American Alliance of Museum. So, ang um, ang museum ay governed by the um, or controlled by the government and at ang mga rules dito ay ina-accreditate ng AAM in US, the American Alliance of Museums. While the art gallery naman is a not governed by rules set by AAM in US or 
uh, it was private or meron, meron lang na mga iilang tao na nag-facilitate or nagko-control ng uh, museum or ng art gallery na ito. And pagdating naman sa, sa fund, ng, ang museum ay partially funded by the local, state, and federal grants. Pwede rin uh, meron nagbibigay ng gifts and donations from companies. At ito ay ginagamit nila pang bayad sa mga Ayun nga, sa mga nakukuha pa nilang uh, artifacts dito sa Pilipinas. While sa art gallery naman ay, ang fund nila ay galing din sa mga, sa mga bagay na nandun sa loob ng, ng gallery na ito. At yun, ang budget nila ay, ang fund nila ay paikot-ikot lang. Yung binebenta nila, tapos yung mapagbebentahan nila ay, yun din ang ginagamit nila para gumawa pa ng ah, uh, ng pwedeng ilagay sa art ga gallery. And in terms naman sa location, ang museum ay special ay inilalagay sa special place i and is constructed for the purpose. So, ang museum po ay nilalagay sa uh, lugar kung saan ay Uh, mabilis makita ng mga tao at ang art gallery naman is a commercial places or uh, ang mga uh, nag-organize ito ay naghahanap ng isang lugar kung saan alam nilang magiging mas ma makakakuha sila ng mas malaking benefit or potential para mag-sale. Uh, tinatayo din nila sa maraming tao at para mag-attract at para makarami sila ng benta. So, we have here the list of other museums in the Philippines. Meron po tayong museum sa Manila, sa Pasay, sa Makati, sa Pasig, sa Quezon City, Taguig, Cebu, Aurora, Nueva Ecija, and Benguet. So, in Manila, we have 10 museums. And ito ay Bahay Chumoy, na and is typically Chinese house in the Philippines na matatagpuan naman natin sa Kaisa Heritage Center sa Intramuros, Manila and we have a Casa Manila and is typically Spanish colonial house in the Philippines na matatagpuan natin sa General Luna Street Intramuros, Manila meron din po tayong San August Agustin Museum, ito naman po ay isang church museum Uh, ang mga kinokolek po naman nito ay mga Catholic religious item. Ito po ay nasa San Agustin Monastery General Luna Street Corner, Real Intramuros, Manila. And we have the National Museum of the Philippines na, na ang showcase naman nito ay mga Philippine Arts na matatagpuan sa P. Burgos Avenue, Manila. Meron din po tayong Malacanang Museum na uh, itong museum naman po na ito ay ang mga nasa loob po nito ay mga presidential pa face comple complex na matatagpuan po sa Malacanang Palace uh, complex J.P. Laurel Street, San Miguel, Manila Meron din po tayo sa Metropolitan It is a called Metropolitan Museum of the Philippines It, This museum of is a contemporary arts na matatagpuan naman po sa Bangko Central ng Pilipinas Complex Rojas Boulevard, Manila and we have the Museum of Contemporary Arts and Design ang nasa loob naman po nito ay mga contemporary Filipino artists or arts na matatagpuan naman po sa College of St. Benilde 950P Acampo Street, Malate, Manila And we have the, muse the museum of ang mga nasa loob naman po nito, nito ay also Museum of Contemporary Filipino Arts na matatagpuan sa De La Salle University, 24, 2401 Taft Avenue, Manila. And kanina nga po ay dinidiskus ko po ang USP Museum na ito po yung pinakamatandang museum sa Pilipinas na Merong permanent display of natural history, specimens, coins, medals, mem memorabilia, 
ethnographic materials and oriental art objects na matatagpuan po ito. Siyempre sa Santo Tomas Main Building, Espanya Boulevard, Sampaloc, Manila. And we have the Museum Pambata. Ito nang, itong museum naman po na ito ay for children's na matatagpuan sa Rojas Boulevard Corner South Drive, Ermita, Manila. And we have a Pasay. Um, we have two museums in Pasay. The CCP Museum ng Kalinangang Filipino and Asian Traditional Musical Instruments. Ito po ay, itong museum naman po na ito ay dito po pineperform ang mga arts ng mga Pilipino. At ito po ay matatagpuan sa tanghalang pambansa, CCP Complex Rojas Boulevard, Pasay. And the isa pang museum ay GSIS, Museo ng Sining. Dito naman po ipinapakita ang uh, mga sining ng ating mga kapatid na Pilipino. It is a Museum of Filipino Arts na matatagpuan sa Makapagal Avenue Financial Center, Pasay. And we have here the Makati. Uh, meron din po tayong uh, museum sa Makati na Ayala Museum. Ito din po ay isang museum ng Filipino Arts na matatagpuan sa Makati Avenue, corner de la, de la Russell Street, Greenbelt Park. And meron pa po tayong uh, museum dito sa Makati called the Huching Co Museum. It is a museum of Filipino and Filipino Chinese arts. Yung po ay combined na uh, Filipino at ang mga Philippine, uh, half, Filipino Chinese or half na mga arts. Na matatagpuan naman sa RCBC Plaza, Ayala Corner, Senator by Senator Jill Puyal Avenue, Makati. And meron naman po tayong isang museum sa Pasig na tinatawag na Lopez Memorial Museum. Uh, also a museum of the Filipino Contemporary Arts. Na matatagpuan po sa Ben Press Building in exchange of Road Corner Meralco Avenue, Pasig. And meron din po tayong dalawang museum sa Quezon City which is named uh, Ateneo Art Gallery. It is also a museum of a Filipino contemporary arts na matatagpuan sa special, uh, special occasions building of Ateneo de Manila University or Katipunan Avenue, Loyola Heights, Quezon City. And we have here also the George B. Vargas Museum and Filipiniana Research Center. And this museum is the only museum in the Philippines with wide range of Philippine arts from 1980 to 1960. Ayan po yung ang George B. Vargas Museum and Filipiniana Research Center ay ang pinaka uh, malawak na uh, Museum ng Pilipinas noon pang 1880 to 1960 na matatagpuan naman po sa Rojas Avenue, University of the Philippines, Diliman, Quezon City. And meron naman po tayong isang museum sa Tagig na named Mind Museum. It is a, a science museum na matatagpuan sa Campus Park, 3rd Avenue, Bonifacio Global City of Tagig. And, and we have uh, one museum in Cebu named Polina Constantia Museum of Nave or it was named Mona, M-O-N-A, na this museum of Nave art, poetry, and sustainability. Ito naman po ay matatagpuan sa uh, 110 Gorordo Avenue, Cebu City. And meron din po tayong uh, museum sa Aurora City named Baller Museum. At ito din po ay isang museum ng nave art and culture na matatagpuan sa Baller Aurora. And also we have a museum, two museum in Nueva Ecija 
main provincial capital museum na this museum of novo esihanos art and culture isa rin po tong uh, museum ng filipino na ang inaano naman po nito ay ang mga objects naman po nito ay arts and cultures na matatagpuan sa palayan city ng Nueva Ecija and the second one is the Fred's Art Gallery ito rin po ay Museum of Novo Ecijanos Artist na matatagpuan sa Cabanatuan City and Benguet the last one is from Benguet na named Bencab Museum it is a Museum of Bencab Arts Baguio City. Ben Cub Arts is a uh, known as the artist of ben Benedicto Cabrera and he is better known as Ben Cub. He is a figurative painter of the Philippines and is recognized as the pioneer of the Philippines art. Ben Cub's painting often depicts figures from in flowing fabrics, muted tones, early colors, palettes. Na matatagpuan naman siya sa, syempre sa Benguet, Baguio City.